Well. <laughs> well. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Bom dia. Bom dia. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> I need some water though. Yeah, I mean, I love playing with voice. Like, there's such a, like, a visceral quality to it. You know, it's, like, super immediate. There's, like, um, I think, like, unlike a lot of other instruments, most people have a voice. You know, so, like, <clears throat> when you hear voice sounds, like, you kind of relate to that. And then you're sort of, yeah. you're there with that person. And it can feel very, like, sometimes even over-intimate. Like, the, like, it almost seems like you shouldn't be hearing these sounds from a person. Mm -hmm. They're, like, so close. And, like, you know, like, yeah, right yeah. there, it's, like, a... A very intense thing. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's really enjoyable. And then, like, with this kind of instrument, like, all the sounds I have are just your voice. Like, I have no other sounds here besides that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of fun to play with uh, what to capture, what to capture, like, something new or whether to keep. Because, like, I can't, I never know what you're going to do, obviously. So, like, I only have what you've just done, or I can hold on to something for a while and then use it again later like in a more transformative way. So like part of playing with it is like also mm -hmm. like, oh, he's doing something new now, maybe I should get something new in there and, and just kind of have that for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, what, what's your experience in sort of, I guess, playing with this, like a version of yourself? Yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's something very unique in the way that, uh, I mean, I, I give you the first information, and then you respond to me to that, and I respond to you, and it's like a, a infinite loop Mm. of something that starts with almost nothing <laughs> and it's uh, I think it's a very cool way to communicate uh, and I that I had never done before and I, I really enjoy doing that <laughs> <laughs> it was really special mm. and how is it for yourself because I mean all of us I guess hear our voices different outside of our head than inside of our head like you're hearing like a lot of like this was like you know 10 minutes of, of you mm -hmm. of your voice like coming at you like yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I get the question. Uh, <clears throat> so I, I think, uh, how can I talk about it? 
the way I use my voice, it, it's not the same way I used to speak. Right. So I, I kind of feel that difference between my speaking voice and, and the rest, mm. which in the moment is always different, you know, even the, the same type of sound, I don't know. Like, mm. Would you say that's a voice? Yeah, yeah. I you guess it, it becomes something different, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to, <laughs> how to speak <laughs> about that, but that difference make it, makes it uh, much easier to, to put that stuff apart. Mm. Do you find yourself, I mean, when you've done vocal performances, like, <clears throat> I mean, here it didn't have really happen, or not that I noticed, but like, do you find yourself using words or things closer to what your speaking voice would be? Mm -hmm. Like, where it kind of morphs into you speaking and then kind of back. Like, is that something you use as well? Yeah, I use that a lot. Uh, I think, I also think I didn't use that mm. this time. Um, but when I use it, I generally don't use it with my speaking voice. Mm. And if I do it, I do it like in, in a performative way. Right, like, like so, where it's obviously like... Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that it doesn't sound like myself. And I always try to... To, but to run away from that, hmm. you know, in a way that doesn't sound like me. And is that because like <clears> the, <throat> the sort of the voice, like I guess extended technique, like this vocal performance thing is, is a separate like person, not separate person, but it's a separate like instrument or whatever. Like it's not, uh, it's not this person that's speaking to me now. It's like, it's like this other thing. Yeah, it's, it's such a hard question because I, I've been thinking about that a lot. Uh, because apart from from the vocal extended extended techniques, I also I also sing. You know, mm. I, I think I I differ mo more from from those two. So the the singing part, where it's more more literal mm -hmm. and more even if it's lyric or pop or, or something, then I have the the rest those more noisy voices also from from the beat from the beatbox. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's around that. And is your singing voice also different from your speaking voice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But I, I think that comes from from a uh, from from my personality. I think. Okay. My my singing voice is is, is from a, a low baritone, mm -hmm. but I don't speak like a low baritone. I should speak more like that. Yeah. If, it, <laughs> if I would speak with my singing voice. Yeah. But I don't know why I speak like that. Right. I think it comes. It comes from personality wise. All right. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I think. <laughs> I think I didn't answer to any of your questions. No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's not. It's not so much to like sort of have uh, specific questions <clears throat> and specific answers and stuff. Um, yeah. But all your answers are wrong. So. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Also, being front to front with you is very intimate. Oh yeah, yeah. I told you before, and <laughs> speaking is worse. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should sing instead. Yeah, you know what you read. You know. And now we, we should change. You want to go? We, we can move. No, I, I think it's not good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of me, not because of you. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Should we, should we play more? Yeah. I just have to drink a little. <laughs> You're drinking for three people, you know? Exactly. Mmm. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah
Pfeiffer. 